Braddock is a town that can tell us a lot about how America might vote in a state that's expected to pick the next president. And there's one burning factor where candidates stand on fracking natural gas. It is a swing issue in a swing state. Donald Trump has made clear he wants to put oil and gas development at the very heart of his election campaign. But when it comes to Democrats, well, it's a little more complicated. The moderates in the Democratic race want regulation. Uh, you would not call for a ban statewide on fracking or uh, nationwide. You said uh, stop new oil and gas drilling on federal lands. Yes. Okay. And I would also go back and look at what's out there now to determine whether or not it is safe. But Bernie Sanders is backing a ban. My state of Vermont became the first state in the nation to ban fracking. That's a risk in struggling union heartlands wooed by Trump in 2016. My job is to represent the people of Pittsburgh, not the people of Paris. These coke plant workers believe Bernie's opposition to fracking could floor him. Fracking come along and it just, there's so many jobs it provided, it's just unbelievable, especially in the Pittsburgh area and uh, through all the unions and everything else. So it just, it just put a spike in everything. Yes. Are you worried about climate change and the no. impact? No, no. Don't believe in it. I think that's just a cash cow made up to bring money in. It's my belief. Did you think that before Donald Trump called it a hoax? Yes. Yep. There's been five ice ages in the last four and a half billion years. There was no heavy industry or automobiles. What caused that? Maybe the global warming is going to prevent the next ice age. Anybody ever think about that? So are we uh, done uh, endorsing Democrats or going one way or the other? I'm not entirely sure yet. But it's pretty clear that the membership here is largely uh, backing Republicans. Braddock was home to America's first major steel mill. Those glory days evaporated, replaced by the fog of hardship. Please step back and doors, please step back. Watch your step here, watch your step, thank you. How you feel depends in part on where you sit in the climate change debate. Young environmental activists, many who lean towards Bernie Sanders, know they've got their work cut out. Do you think climate change is enough of an issue to change the shape of the 2020 race? I think so. But that's me being optimistic because I think that if I think it isn't, I'm just going to like fall into a really depressive episode. So I have to tell myself that it's enough. I think it's going to be important in the Democratic primary. But beyond the primary, I would have a hard time thinking that people would choose between whoever the Democratic nominee is and Trump based on climate change. Um, they'll be thinking more about Medicare and other issues like that. We tend to think, you know, because we've had extractive industries in southwestern Pennsylvania for so long, we sometimes we get this mindset that it's the only way that we can make money. It's the only way that we can support our families. Um, but it's really not. Clean energy jobs in Pennsylvania are growing five times faster than the normal employment rate. Fracking involves pumping millions of gallons of water, chemicals and sand into the earth. I think fracking is complex, but I think what it is more so is, is a desperation. Summer Lee says it's adding to an already overwhelming health crisis. Fracking can have terrible health impacts on communities, um, on their water, on birth weight for kids. And then when you add that on top of a community like ours, that already has the worst amongst the worst air quality in the nation. You know, that already has um, poor water quality, poor air quality. We already have high rates of asthma. COPD, cancer, respiratory illnesses. It's almost like, what more do you need to inflict on communities like ours? She successfully campaigned on an anti-fracking message and believes African-Americans suffering here and their political power are being overlooked. People don't recognize that black and brown and poor folks, but specifically black and brown folks, are more likely to live by an environmental hazard. 
but I can tell you that I ran unapologetically on a platform that talked about environmental justice, on a platform that talked about a moratorium on fracking, you know, that talked about prioritizing people's health, um, cutting subsidies to big corporations. You know, we talked about good union jobs also and won resoundingly. Down the road, though, John Fetterman, who became a face of the Rust Belt renewal, warns Democrats need to get real in a state he calls the Saudi Arabia of natural gas. Because I fundamentally believe that Pennsylvania is going to pick the next president, you'd want to err on the side of, of, of pragmatic reality from a transition towards renewable energy and independence from fossil fuels, uh, as opposed to an abrupt, let's turn off the switch. In Pennsylvania's post-industrial pockets, natural gas extraction has been a source of economic revival. Betting against it is bold and brave. It may also color this race. Cordelia Lynch, Sky News, Braddock, Pennsylvania.